Hi, this is Dave Herman with Salt Lake City Fire Department. In this brief video, I will show you how to enter hydrant inspections using your iPad. Today's date is uh, April 4th, 2016. So uh, before you can start entering inspections uh, on iPad, you need to be connected to the city network. The way that you can tell uh, you're connected is if you see the letters VPN for Virtual Private Network appear in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. If you don't see those letters, then what you'll need to do is uh, open up the mobility app, uh, the app with the letter M down here at the bottom of the screen, and uh, basically just turn that on. Uh, once you do that, uh, you will be set and uh, can enter hydrant, hydrant inspections. The app we're using to enter hydrant inspections is the collector app. Uh, collector's down here at the bottom of the screen. Uh, when I open it up, it brings up um, a listing of all the maps that are available to you. And I'm going to select the first one here, Hydrant Inspections 2016. Um, so what the app will do by default is um, attempt to go ahead and uh, determine your location. Uh, so basically uh, uh, what you can do is just go to inspect a hydrant, uh, and basically open up the app and it will um, um, basically find where you are. To um, uh, enter an inspection on a hydrant, simply uh, tap the hydrant you're inspecting. And what will happen is this window on the right hand side will open up. Uh, you'll need to go into edit mode by hitting this box with the arrow uh, in this blue section. Hit edit. And then basically this is what appears. Uh, there are only two pieces of it, uh, information that are mandatory here. Uh, the first one is inspected, whether it has or has not been inspected. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and hit yes, and then done. And then the date of inspection as well. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, select today, hit done. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, Public Utilities has indicated uh, that you are welcome to go ahead and change any of the additional pieces of information in here if you're so inclined, uh, if you find an error. Um, you're also welcome to go ahead and grab uh, photo documentation of uh, anything you're seeing there that you want to report. Uh, for example, if a, a hydrant has sustained uh, considerable damage, uh, you can hit this uh, camera button up here on the uh, top of the screen. And what that will do is it will allow you to go ahead and uh, choose from uh, your photo library or just go ahead and snap a picture. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit done. Uh, when you're done, all you have to do is hit the update button in the upper right hand corner of the screen and you are good to go. You'll notice that uh, when uh, you um, uh, complete the inspection, it will change from a, a hydrant symbol to um, uh, kind of that beige circle. And um, yeah, basically that's how you'll get a visual indication that um, the hydrants have been completed for an area. Uh, if you uh, need to enter a work order on it, um, the way that you'll do that is simply to scroll down here to the very bottom of the screen and click this hyperlink for work order request form. When you select that, uh, basically the normal uh, work order request will appear here. Go ahead and fill out the appropriate information from there and it will instantly go to public utility staff who can send a crew to go ahead and uh, take care of it. Uh, the other thing to bring to your attention is um, uh, hydrant resources. Uh, those have been loaded on your iPad, and you can find them by basically pulling down on the screen here until you get to search, and just type the word hydrant in there. In this case, I just typed in the first couple of characters. It says hydrant inspections. And what this uh, takes you to is the new uh, Fire Home website. And uh, basically, here's where all the resource materials are, including training videos um, associated with the program, and then also some quick links, including the hydrant work order report. And if you need to get a waiver for a private hydrant inspection, that is located uh, on this page as well. Um, that's pretty much all I have at this point in time. If you have any questions, give me a call at area code 801-664-3664. Thank you.